Good morning from Uchizar. It's another early morning. It is 5.20 and we are going to go watch the balloons rise. We have a really big day planned. We are going to be doing the green tour. With Paplagonia tour. But of course we had to get up nice and early to watch the balloons rise from like the sickest view ever. Take a look. Okay, wow, the sun has come up and it was definitely worth the early morning again. For sure. Oh my God. It's an everyday thing here in Cappadocia. It's so you have beautiful. To. Yeah, so now I think we're gonna try and get what, like an hour and a half of sleep before we wake up for breakfast and then our adventure starts again. Wake up even more. <laughs> See you then. So we have keys for our room and not for our door into our place, so we're locked out. Classic little hiccup. Both these keys seem to fit our door. The one time we don't check the gate. We always do a gate check. Keith went to jump the fence slash sneak in, so we'll see if he gets in. Made it. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. What's well, a nice breakfast, nice view. Wow, this is our first like real classic Turkish breakfast before our tour. Starts with the pickup at our Airbnb. Hey, okay, we're doing the green tour. We're gonna go check out the panoramic views of Gorham, feed pigeons at Pigeon Valley, explore the Dirinkuyu underground city, stop at Lake Nar, a crater lake, walk the Hilara Valley and grab lunch on the river, visit the Selim Monastery built onto a cliff, and taste a bunch of Turkish desserts. So it's gonna be a good day. We made it to our first stop of the day, one of many. It is gorgeous here, it's a beautiful day, it's sunny, and this is a panoramic view of the city of Gorham and the surrounding canyons. Like, this is insane. We can see everything we've seen in the last couple of days. Uchizar, where we're staying right now, Gorham over here, the Pigeon Valley, which we're gonna go see. Later today. And the Open Air Museum. Huh, amazing. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right, we gotta go feed some pigeons. It's tradition. Let's do it. We made it to our next stop. Which is Pigeon Valley, which you might have guessed because of the stuff we're gonna feed the pigeons. And we actually learned patrons are really important to this area, which is pretty neat. They really like pigeons here. Why? Because they use their feces as fertilizer. Now, there used to be millions, now there's a little less, but they have houses for them here along this valley, which is why it's called the Pigeon Valley. It starts in Gorham, it's four kilometers long, and ends here. That's how you do it, Doug. Over here. See? Look at that. I'm gonna come closer. Closer. Back in the day, the pigeons were also used to carry messages from here to Constantinople. The other thing that's really neat is the little pigeon holes are designed to be straight, like vertical, so that predators couldn't get in to try and eat the pigeons. To our next stop. We made it to the town of Dirinquio, which is where the underground city is. It's about a 25 minute drive from Cappadocia. Which is really great because we wouldn't have been able to walk here. So I'm happy they drove us. The city itself is six kilometers long and has eight floors. For 800 years, it went undiscovered and in the 1960s, it was found again. The original purpose of the underground city was to hide from the invading armies. So let's go check it out. What's your stuff? Going down. There's like... like this is just a room built in the rocks. So apparently this city had wine cellars, stables, granaries, 
whatever that is. <laughs> Just like it was a full on city underground. With and a population of 20,000. And how it was discovered too, she also told us earlier, is that somebody was literally here and they, there's houses above and he was building, going to build a house and wanted to build a foundation and discovered this underground town. Because as Keith said, it was covered over in the 12th, 12th century. Yeah. Like, So us being us, well, we don't know much about go? this place. Yes. We just found out that there is 30 underground cities and these cities were actually places they would refuge to. They would escape from Gorham and Uchazar, from oh. their fairy chimneys, from their Where houses. Where they usually lived when the enemies would come and then they'd live here for like two or three months yeah. until the enemies would leave. Versus sort of a city where it sort of thrived year round, it was an escape. Yeah, and it, it worked. These people survived. So this we just learned, they had these giant rocks that were circles that they would take a stick, we assume, and a bunch of them would hold it and roll it over the door so enemies couldn't get in. So these were their doors, giant stone rocks. So smart, so cool. But now of course they're cemented so we don't get locked in, thank goodness. And we're going down. Narrow. Whoa. Whoa, this gets colder and narrower. This is so cool. <laughs> this is like a real underground cave. Oh my God, this is neat. Okay. Okay. After that, we are going down eighth floor, okay. the deepest. So right. it's 100 yes. and how many steps? 108. 108 steps. 108. 108. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Get your exercise in depth. It is hard to believe that there was eight floors. Eight okay. floors underground. Honestly, what I can't believe is that this was built so long ago. Like how long ago this was built, how well preserved it still is, but also just how much work it must have been, how far underground we are. We're so how, far underground. How well this is, is still and here. It's just huge. Works and, yeah. I mean, look, I'm not touching the ceiling, my hands up. <sighs> you know, this place opens right up. Wow. And there it is. Ooh. The sunlight. <laughs> Blinding. Let's go back in our cave. It was actually quite cold. I'm looking forward to some heat. Actually, yeah, it was a bit cool. Oh, that's that's blinding. Yep, you need those sunnies. <laughs> well, that just blew us away. Holy moly, that was amazing. I'm they didn't kill you. I side. didn't have any expectations at all. I heard underground city. My dad was like, it's worth visiting. Totally worth it. If this... you are coming to Cappadocia, you have to come here. And apparently, this is one of the only tours too that comes here. So there's a lot. Apparently, there's 200 underground cities that are two levels deep. So this is a must. And they didn't put you underground eight, city. Definitely eight levels, where some are only two levels. Mind blowing. Off to the next thing. We're Let's just do keep it. on moving. This is Lake Nar. A crater lake. Yeah. Here, about 15 minutes away from Derinquiu, and it reminds us awfully a lot of Lanzarote. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The topography is very similar, and this is just a peaceful lake in the middle of desert volcano fields. And desert farms. volcano fields and farms. <laughs> Some fun facts about this place are first, if you look at it from the air, it's shaped like a heart. The second thing is that it's home to a new species of algae that was discovered here that affects the sediments at the bottom, making it change colors by season. Very neat. Very cool lake. And I think people are heading back to the bus, so okay, we gotta keep to go. moving. So we just stopped on the side of the road and there's this beautiful mountain. So this is three of the four volcanic mountains in the area. And the other one you can actually ski at, which we didn't know. And that's really cool. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Thank you. Another cool thing we're doing, we're walking along the Hidata Valley Canyon, which is also formed because of volcanoes. We're starting right here. We're walking down to Elisirma village where we're having lunch. This whole thing's actually 16 kilometers. We're walking three and a half, which is so nice. We love hiking. We do. What do you think of this view? It is pretty spectacular. Whoa, that stone Don't is bigger than the last one. Be careful there, little bean. So we've almost made it to the bottom and we flew across a church because also all along this canyon, people used to live here in the fourth century. Christians, I believe. So here's the church. All the paint size, obviously natural paint, pistachios, clay, pomegranate. Guess what the white is? Pigeon eggs. 
This walk is lovely, easy, beautiful, and it's nice to see greenery. Because so I cannot imagine what it would have been like to live in those caves and in, in those walls without any greenery. Oh, it's so nice to see trees. Wasn't that amazing? That is so That was so nice. So great. We have a tea, which means... Okay, stop the music. Serious for a second. This tour includes lunch. Starting with lentil soup. And salad, and some bread for beef, and some cheese that I put on my salad. And mushrooms and cheese. <laughs> it smells really good. And it tastes even better. And of course, the pièce de résistance, chicken in a cast iron pan. Lunch was delicious, but we just keep moving. That was really good. We moved to the Salime Cathedral Monastery, right behind us. It's part of this. Who would have thought this is rock. a monastery? <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out. So this is one of those things I've never heard of. Yeah, Completely never, like I heard about the underground city and we heard about the other places and obviously the balloons and certain ooches are there, yeah. Yeah, this definitely worth the stop though. Like this is so neat and we didn't even know it existed, so. Definitely cool. worth the stop. Okay, we have another stop. We may have stopped a little bit on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an hour-ish to get here. You know what we're tasting? <laughs> no, what are we tasting? I think it's uh, Turkish Delights. Well, that's great. Hello. Welcome, guys. Thank you. So wow. it looks like we're tasting a bunch here. This is very cool. Yes, this is apricot and chocolate. Well, I like to do. I'm sorry, what's your name? Bayan. Bayan. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm nice Devin and this is Keith. Jinx. Jinx. That was, we just had the most amazing conversation with our, our food uh, tasting guide, Bayan, was such an amazing such person. Such a nice person. And uh, here we are. He left us with all this food that uh, he recommended us we I try. try one more of these. These are mall berries. These are my favorite. They're chocolate covered somethings. Mm. And then there's, um, well, that's good. There's naturally dried apricots, apricot seeds, which turns out are really good and healthy, and they're like almonds. Show them. They look like this. There's rose water. Turkish delight. Just amazing. Right? Obviously amazing. So cool. This has been such an incredible experience. This has been like, like a fantastic day. day. Mm -hmm. And then the top seller, pomegranate pistachio, which I think might be my Turkish favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the um, hazelnut nougat. What is that? That was really cool too. Yeah. Bloody amazing, man. It's been such a cool day. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was so great. Amazing tour Thank you. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Bye. Fantastic day. Have a nice Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, driver. Thank you. They drop you off at your hotel, but we decided to walk only 12 minutes away. Especially after all that Turkish delight. Yeah, no kidding. Holy smokes. That was an incredible day. We are back at our Airbnb. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. We didn't have too many expectations. We were recommended to do the green tour. And, uh, and, so and we did, and we did it. Yeah. so happy we did. Because that was those none of those things were actually on my radar for things to do in Cappadocia, and they were all incredible. I mean, the like, underground we, city was pretty far away, mm -hmm. and uh, and that the Semini uh, Monastery Cathedral we ended the day there was it was, was mind blowing. It was just yeah. more more to amaze us. The more we're here, the more we fall in love with Turkey, and it's yeah. just incredible. Yeah, I feel like we've been so fortunate with the, with the weather too, but with uh, with everything we've done and the people we've met, 
And uh, today was all thanks to Papagonia Taurus. So and thank I, you so much. We'd I'm recommend so going through them for, as a tour company. Like today, oh, for sure. we did so much and learned so much, and it was so smooth. Yeah. Not an average day for Devin and Keith. Not, an not extraordinary at all. one. Extraordinary day. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. See you soon. So this is the kind of place you just want to escape, escape the girls, escape the wife, hang out here. <laughs> Quick little thing too, if any of you have read the host, Allie B. Kate and Emily, this totally reminds me of the place they li lived when they were hiding from the hosts. Just saying. <laughs> hey Devin, Devin, Devin. Hey, hey, hey. This one's pretty, pretty small though. Hurts the lower back a bit. I'm trying to flatten it and just really use, use my Watch your head. I'm using the legs, really squat. Squat city. Good job. Woo. This was the smallest tunnel, right? Yeah, that's what we heard. We just learned these are pistachio trees. We've never seen them before. And in the summer, if we were here, we'd actually be able to take them and eat pistachios. Oh my How God. cool is that? Pistachio trees right on. Brava. Brava. Hi again. Update, Ban left. And he, he, <laughs> he just literally left us with all this food. And he's like, eat as much as you want. So here we are, idea, chewing down. <laughs> I got some sunscreen in my eyes. Eating all this Turkish delight and nuts and dried fruit. What a great way to end this tour. <laughs> wow. Hey, Dad, where's your Tupperware when you need it? I didn't break it, Dan. <laughs>